Minecraft Bedrock has long missed out on the ability to throw a fireball, something many of us find incredibly disappointing. In this video, I will help you to build a system that gives you access to infinite throwable fireballs that explode and catch things on fire. See this house? Just a normal house. Nothing crazy inside. Nothing crazy behind it, to the side of it, or underneath it. Just a house. These are my infinite throwable fireballs. Now this build requires two parts. The first part involves capturing your own fireball. Let's get started. The first thing we're going to need is we're going to need command blocks. It's going to be slash give at s command underscore block. We're also going to need to get a structure block. It's going to be slash give at s stru structure underscore block. All right, so we're going to put two command blocks down. These are not going to be touching. They're not connected. And one of them, I want you to have slash kill at E type equals ghast. And the other one, we're going to do slash summon ghast tilde tilde 10 tilde. So what we're doing is we're summoning in a ghast. I'm going to put myself in survival mode and it's going to shoot a fireball. The next command block we need to put down, you also want to have a lever on it. It's going to be repeating needs redstone. The command we're going to do in there is slash tp at e type equals fireball. And now I have tilde 2 tilde 10 tilde because I have a structure block that I've set down and I want you to put your structure block down next to your purple command block that you have your repeating command block. And I want you to set it to this 1 1 1 for your sizes and then set your y offset to 10. What this is going to do is it's going to make a small box that's 10 blocks up in the air. That's going to be your sensor. The coordinates that I have in here, tilde 2, tilde 10. So tilde 10, that's right up there at that same level, 10 blocks up in the air. But the tilde 2, if you see my coordinates in the upper left of my screen, right now I'm at negative 6. If I were to move over here, I'd be at negative 4. So that means that it would be plus 2 on my x-axis. That's where the 2 comes from. Check out your coordinates and make sure that you are teleporting the fireball to the same block that you have your structure block set for. You want this up in the air because anything around a fireball all of a sudden becomes unclickable. So you won't actually be able to access your structure block or your command block. Definitely have it off in the air. All right. So now that we have that set up, we're going to capture our fireball. So make sure that that repeating command block is on the one that's teleporting the fireball. And we're going to go over here. And we're going to put ourselves in survival mode. Slash game mode survival. And I'm going to summon in the gas. He's going to shoot his fireball. It's going to get teleported there. And then I'm going to kill the gas. We're going to run over to the structure block. After we switch back over to creative. Okay, fireball's still there. You want to make sure that your name when you're saving this is fireball. All right. We no longer need the fireball in here, so we can do slash kill at E type equals fireball. Get rid of that. And now we're going to want to come down here and make sure that we turn off the repeating command block that teleports it. Otherwise, it's just going to keep teleporting your fireballs back up here. All right, so the second part here is how we will trigger and utilize our fireballs. So we're going to start off with another repeating command block with a lever on it. This one is going to be needs redstone. And the command we're doing here is slash replace item entity. You're going to have your username, mine's brown code 67, slot dot hotbar zero. That's the very first slot on your hotbar. Keep. That way if there's anything there, it won't erase it and it won't keep erasing it every game tick. It's only when that slot becomes open. It's going to put a fire charge there, just one. So when I flip this lever and I move my command block, I have a fire charge there. Whenever this replaces the item, it's going to run these commands here. This one, chain conditional always active, it's going to do slash kill at E type equals item name equals fire charge in quotation. So that's going to kill the item that we drop. And the next one here, chain conditional always active, slash execute at your username run structure load fireball carrot 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 one 
So this is going to summon that fireball that we just saved one block in front of us. Now we need to actually guide the fireball. So we're going to have a repeating command block here. Repeating meets redstone and you're going to have a lever on it. And we're going to turn on when you want to use the power and turn it off when we're not. The command in this one is slash execute at at e type equals fireball as at e type equals fireball rotated as your username. So we're going to execute at the position of the fireball. It's going to act like the fireball is running the command itself, but it's going to be rotated the same as you. So it's always going to be facing where you're facing. And then we're going to teleport at S, which is the fireball forward two blocks every game tick. But we're not going to let it go anywhere into a block or entity. So if it hits something, it'll stop. You'll see I have a comparator and a repeater coming off here that heads into a, this is a concrete block with the redstone torch on top. So what this is doing is, as long as the fireball is flying, these will be powered, and this will be off. When the fireball stops flying when it hits, this redstone torch is going to activate, and it's going to power these three command blocks here. This one here is an impulse, needs redstone. It's going to be slash execute at, at E type equals fireball. Run fill, tilde four, tilde three, tilde four, tilde negative four, tilde negative three, the negative four fire zero replace air so this is going to summon in a big square of fire on all the blocks and objects in the area it's not going to break any blocks it's just going to catch everything on fire and then next chain unconditional always active make sure this is unconditional we're going to slash execute at at e type equals fireball run summon tnt minecart tilde tilde one tilde minecraft colon on instant prime so after it summons in the fire, we're going to summon in a TNT minecart that should explode immediately. And then the last one here, chain unconditional, always active. This one is unconditional again. We're going to run slash kill at E type equals fireball. So this is going to make sure that the fireball is destroyed. You'll also notice off to the other side, running into that impulse command block, I have a repeating command block with another lever on it. This one you turn on when you're using it, turn it off when you're not. This one here, repeating, needs redstone. We're doing slash execute at, at E type equals fireball. So at the fireball's position, we're gonna run test four. It's looking for any entity at E within a range of four, R equals four. But we're doing type equals exclamation point item, so no items laying around. Type equals exclamation point XP orb, so no XP orbs. Type equals exclamation fireball, so not itself. Name equals exclamation point your username. So you don't cause it to explode when you're originally shooting it and it's close to you. You're going to have a comparator and a repeater running straight into that impulse command block. So whether the fireball stops moving or simply gets close enough to an entity, it's going to power these commands and explode. If this video tickled your fancy, then you're missing out if you haven't seen my warden sword and fangbow, taking all the dangerous things in Minecraft and making weapons out of them. This is Browncoat67, I'll catch you next time.